All right, everyone. I am driving into Abilene, Texas. Population 125,474. That's the latest estimate. Metro population 176,579. It's a nice day today, early February. It is a Tuesday morning. I'm uh, going to explore the downtown here, see some of the sights. But uh, before I get out and start walking around, uh, I just finished flying the drone and uh, got a good shot of the skyline. So how about if I show you that right now? All right, everybody. Every now and then I come into a city downtown and they don't charge for parking. See the Bronco? No parking meter. No parking meters anywhere. And I am in downtown. Make no mistake. Look at that beautiful old building. I love it when they don't charge parking. I'm digging you already, Abilene. Anyway, I specifically parked here because I wanted to see this beautiful old theater. You guys know I love them. This was built in 1930 on a National Register, unsurprisingly. Still in operation. Not only does it show movies, it also shows, well, it has live shows, theater, concerts. Look at this one coming up. I love it. I would love to see that show. I bet that kicks ass. I'm going to get a closer look at it. I'm wondering if I can go inside because I saw some people walk in there. I think it's rented out right now, but maybe I can just take a peek inside. What do you guys think? God, it's total, totally old school though. Love it. The old school, you pay for your ticket out here. How cool is that, huh? Am I right? Let's go see. Let me see what's in here. Wow, look at this place. Hey, I just want to, can I get to take a quick look at it? Yeah. I video old theaters for YouTube, so. This is beautiful. It is a beautiful building. If you'd like to look around, you absolutely can. You can also go upstairs and into our balcony. Um, and into the lobby, just be, uh, be aware they are uh, setting up some stuff that, okay. uh, on our stage. I'm just going to get a quick look in there, and then I'll, I'll get out of the way. All right, so they said I can come in here. Cool, huh? Can you imagine seeing a movie in here? Fantastic. Amazing. All right. Yeah, let me go a little bit deeper in. Let's see if I can see the roof. Yeah, look at this. What a grand, old, beautiful theater. This is a real gem here in Abilene. And unexpected, quite frankly. 
Oh. All right. Cool. All right, let's go check out some other places. This is the former Grace Hotel, built in 1909. Built by a guy named Colonel Beckham, named for his daughter, his daughter Grace. How nice. It's a museum now. I'll pan around downtown here a little bit. I am uh, at this train depot. Let's see what's over here. There's actually a train parked right outside it. Now Abilene has a museum here, the first of its kind and considered innovative. It's called the National Center for Children's Illustrated Literature. And the town also has children's literature characters illustrated via statues and artwork throughout the town. The museum is world class and because of it, Abilene bills itself the storybook capital of the world. Now they have these sculptures and statues, artwork, whatever you want to call them. They have them everywhere down here or in different places. And uh, you'll see a little plaque going along with them. Uh, that is fantastic, I think. And like I said, I'm right here at this train depot, uh, which is a museum as well, I believe. Got a train though, going right by. Slowly moving out. You can see that, I think, can't you? How cool. Yeah, I can definitely hear it. It's a beautiful sight from where I'm standing, don't you think? So look into downtown, Abilene. Uh, it's uh, getting close to 11 a.m. Sunny, a little bit of wind. It's in the 60s right now, but it is supposed to get up in the mid 70s. That's pretty nice weather for early February, you gotta admit. You can hear this train behind me getting ready to take off. It is taking off. Got some more children's artwork here. This particular area seems to be dedicated to Dr. Seuss. Here we go. The Grinch and Max. And again, they have a little excerpt from the book. I don't know about you guys, but I'm pretty impressed by this. That's pretty awesome. Well, let's see. I'm gonna go look around some more. All right, I'm at the National Center for Children's Illustrated Literature. They got this big statue out front. I'm not sure what that is. Somebody may have to fill in with the comments, or in the comment section, because uh, you got me on this one. I got another little st statue over here. Let's check it out real quick. Uh, let's see, David and, David and Fergus. From the book, David gets uh, in trouble. There you go. I'm not familiar with it, but uh, it's cool. You know, Abilene's known for, it's Wild West history. But today, it's very diverse. I looked at its top employers and it all kinds of different types of industries here. But number one is the or is Dias Air Force Base. That is nearby. It is by far the top employer. And you just see little pieces of art all over the place. Murals too. I'll check out some of those in a bit. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's just a Volkswagen bug up there with what looks like some kind of green snake with a cap on his head. There you go. You know, I'm usually not worried about finding cats in the big city videos, but, well, I just happened to upon a couple. There we go. Aha! 
Yeah, what are you guys doing down there? There's like three of them. Uh, I don't think they're strays though, because they all look well fed. In fact, they look a little heavy. Anyway, I will continue down the street. One of the little oddities of the town I was looking at. Did you know that it, or in Abilene, it is illegal to loiter with the intent to flirt? Yeah, that law is on the books here. So, uh, don't be coming down here, hanging around, flirting with girls or boys. Because that's against the law. Yeah, it's got a mural over here. You see them kind of all over the place. Yeah, another mural. Tucked away in a bit of a corner here, in an alley actually. But you can't miss it, all the bright colors. Well, I'm getting a little bit closer look at this mural. Wow, look at that. Oh, that's a little racy. What do you guys think? I dig it. That's just me. And we got some graffiti over here. I definitely wanted to see this while I was here. Uh, this is the Episcopal Church of the Heavenly Rest. And look at that architecture. This was built in 1953, which kind of surprises me, the style of architecture, uh, Gothic. You can definitely see uh, medieval era England in it, in the style. It's absolutely gorgeous, isn't it? Uh, I'm not sure if I can go in. I think the front is over here to the side. I want to be sure and get it in the sun so you can see all this. Yeah, so uh, I'll, I'll walk up to the uh, front door, see if we can take a look inside. Yeah, Episcopal Church of the Heavenly Rest. Well, let's take a look. Well, they let me inside. I'm thinking not, I see a lock. Nope, it's locked. Well, that sucks. I would love to see the inside of this place. Yeah, another look at this tower. In the shade, but I think you can see it. Spectacular. All right, well, I'm gonna look around at some uh, neighborhoods. I'm pretty close to downtown. You can see it right there in the middle of frame. Well, one thing for sure, as I drive around some of the neighborhoods near downtown, it's a very eclectic mix of architecture. Uh, no two houses look even remotely alike which is what you like to see. I've seen some pretty, pretty incredible looking homes here. I'm gonna video a few more. Not what I would expect from Abilene, Texas. Yeah, look at some of these houses. Isn't that one beautiful? Or what? Wow. Beautiful neighborhoods. Here close to downtown. A lot of action going on in this town. At least, uh, in terms of what you can hear, can you guys hear it? Some sort of siren and a train. All kinds of stuff. There goes the train right there. Interesting homes everywhere. And I gotta tell you, I'm impressed. Well, there's an abandoned house. First one I've seen. I guess it's abandoned. Doesn't look like there's anybody living there. Uh, these are interesting looking. 
obviously new. I'm not going to lie, I would like to see the inside of one of these. You can see there's two floors and uh, looks like a deck, covered deck on top. See, they all of them have that covered deck. Of course, the big problem with them is they all look alike. You hate to see that because you go a few more feet down the street and you see homes that are all different looking. Which to me is better. But those were interesting, whatever those were. Hmm. Oh, a little house there, sitting empty. Well, all right, y'all, that's a little bit of a look downtown and at some of the neighborhoods in the vicinity of downtown. Gonna go grab the wifey and uh, we're gonna check out a world-class museum and have some dinner at a local restaurant. So that's coming up right now. All right, we're at Frontier, Texas. Cool museum from what I understand. Yeah. Ready? Yeah, got the wifey in tow, so uh, right, we're gonna go so check it out. I'm ahead of you again. I know. I'm pushing you like a push barge. Let's see, we're inside. Got a statue right off the bat. Some artwork. Looks like some cowboys trying to herd some cows across the river. That's pretty cool. Anyway, got the wife there buying our tickets, and we're gonna go check it out. People all over the world know about Texas, mostly from the thousands of movies and books about the Wild West and adventures on the frontier. Where you are right now, a smack dab in the middle of all that commotion. And today, your Frontier Texas experience will tell you all about it. Now, this is the first thing you see walking in. A battle between a buffalo and looks like a couple wolves. That's pretty cool. So they use these special projectors. You can see the cameras up there. To project an image uh, for you to watch. And uh, it looks really cool. Here, I'll show you. Every treaty with the white man is a mistake. They will not live by their trees. They cannot live by them. I will never make peace with the whites. Living as they want us to live is to die slowly. I have spent many days in a white man's prison. A reservation is also a prison. And so I make war on the whites. Some of my brothers have said, do not do this. They will never take my heart. This is a typical Comanche teepee made of buffalo hide. And uh, here they've got it set up the way it looked like inside. So I guess you had your fire there in the middle. So here's a video of Cynthia Ann Parker, who is white, but was captured by Comanche and became a Comanche herself. Paw Heights. Though I was born in the world of the whites, I am Comanche. My life with the Nomina is everything. And the mainstay of our lives will always be the buffalo. We know this. We eat its meat, fresh and also dried. The skins we use for robes and saddles and shelter. We make shields stronger than the white man's bullets. We sew as many as 15 buffalo skins together to make our teepees. 
I mean, they got all kinds of cool stuff in here. His wife, you watch on one of the shows about one of the freed black men of the area. Britt Johnson. Yeah, the stagecoach is pretty cool. Used in a lot of movies and TV. Yep, Little House on the Prairie. I used to watch that all the time. Yeah. Uh, what else? Three Amigos, The Cherokee Kid. It was in uh, Mel Brooks' Dracula Dead and Loving It. Yeah, see, <laughs> Little House on the Prairie is the only one that I would have seen. <laughs> yeah, I saw all those. I haven't seen any of those. Huh? I want to get in it. Do you think anybody will notice? Yeah, you can't get in it. You can't break the rules. Can't or shouldn't? You cannot. No, I'm quite, oh. uh, I'm quite sure that I can. You'll get a stone out of here. <laughs> Anyway, we're waiting for this next show. Here's some photos of notorious people of the Old West. No, no, yeah. notorious. Yep. Sorry. Ah, there's Wyatt Earp and Lottie Dino, gambler, poker player, Bat Masterson, John Wesley Harden, outlaw killer. Uh, let's see, Butch Cassidy. Look at he's cleanly, sha uh, cleanly shaved. He kind of looks like a kid. Butch Cassidy. So does Doc Holliday. He's got that crazy hair. Uh, big nose Kate. That was Doc Holliday's woman, wasn't it? She has a surprisingly small nose, though. Yeah. She was his woman. She's uh, had a saloon in Deadwood, South Why Dakota. Why did they call her big nosed Kate? She heard oh, I'm sorry. No. Not Deadwood, South Dakota. She had the saloon in Tombstone, Arizona, where you were, yes, we went to it. I know. I just want to know why the nickname. I don't know. And there's uh, Billy the Kid. That's a really old picture. He's ugly as sin. And then Pat Garrett. He's the one who killed Billy the Kid. Oh, yeah. That's Apparently cool. he talks over here if you want to press the button. Should we push the button? <laughs> Should we push the button? See. Let's let the camera focus. There we go. Pat Garrett. Welcome to the Bay House Saloon. I'm just filming here for Dutch. He's eating over at Skeeter's tent. Name's Pat Garrett. Gonna get right to it. I guess I'm best known for shooting Billy the Kid. Hmm. But lots of things happened before me and Billy met in that pitch black room where I had about two seconds to kill Billy before he killed me first. So that's what I did. Okay, this is the Frontier Experience Theater. We're gonna check out the show next. Looks like it's immersive. They have screens in a circle. Am I right? Got the screens. Come on in, folks. Whoa. Take a seat. It don't matter where, because actions will be all around us, which is why the seat spin. Just don't spin too fast once you get woozy. Hmm. One other thing. It's going to be dark in here, so we don't want you moving around. After you finish, you can start over. We have exited the museum. It was really awesome. You can see downtown over there and wifey right there. Yeah, beautiful day. It's mid 70s. Yeah. Anyway, yeah, that's just a little bit of the museum. It's really awesome. Highly recommend. Uh, we are going to go eat at a local joint right now. We are in downtown. I was here earlier, if you remember. And we're going to check out a local restaurant. Cypress Street Station. They tell us it's good, so... Uh... Right, ready to go check it out? It smells good already, doesn't it? All right, us being bar people, we are going to sit at the bar. It's nice in here, though. Yeah, a little small bar, but it will do the job. Well, I'm having a local beer, a vanilla porter called Stripper Dust. I've already taken a taste. It's delicious, and the name rules. Stripper Dust. Yeah, I like that. And, uh, of course, I'm going to support the local economy by having a local beer. 
wifey is supporting the Tennessee economy. <laughs> anyway, uh, we're going to try some calamari first. Our calamari is here and we've already been eating it. It's really good. It's got an Asian uh, chili sauce on it. Yes, yeah, already on it. Sweet chili sauce. Huh? It's chili sauce? Sweet chili sauce. It's yeah. very good. However, I would have I actually would have preferred the sauce on the side because I don't want it to lose its crunchiness, you know, by being soaked in the sauce. Yeah. I prefer to dip it in the sauce. But it's, it's still good. Mm -hmm. I like it this way. Mm -hmm. Alright, our food is here. I am having a no, that is not a hamburger. That is a meatloaf sandwich. With some slaw and fries. And a little tartar sauce for my fries, because I like fries with tartar sauce. Hmm. And you've got a wrap of some sort, right? I've got a wrap. I can't remember the name of it, but it has it has roasted turkey, has pepper jack cheese. Um, oh, it has apple slices, lettuce, and a raspberry vinaigrette. And then oh. I got a fruit cup with it. Oh, cool. Well, we're gonna dig in and see if this stuff is any good. Looks good though. It does. Look. Let's see. What local beer should I try next? I think it's gonna be. Red Gap's Big Chief. I do like a good bock. Okay, the lowdown on the food. The meatloaf sandwich is great. It's warm meatloaf. I usually have cold meatloaf sandwiches, and you gotta dip it in the ketchup, because you gotta have ketchup. It sounds better. It sounds better if it's warm. No, I like cold meatloaf sandwiches, but you gotta have ketchup on them, but they have it on the side. The fries are pretty good. What do you think of yours? My wrap is good. It's nice and light. Um, mm -hmm. I like the raspberry vinaigrette. The oh, apples, good. I'm undecided on. <laughs> what in the sandwich? Yes, oh. yes. I mean, I love green apples. I'm just not. I haven't decided whether I really like them in the wrap or not. I'm on. I'm on the fence about them. I see. But overall, I really like it. Thanks. Good place to eat. Highly recommend. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. Uh, that's the end of this video. Uh, I will be heading into rural Texas for a rural Texas drive. Wait till you see these towns. <laughs> uh, so that will be the next video. See you then.